were part of another monastery in the state of Pennsylvania. And very early on, there was a priest who was a cultural historian and a scholar in the work of Teilhard de Chardin, who was a Jesuit priest and a scientist. And um, so this man, Thomas Berry, became mentored to us and taught us very early on during our novitiate years when we were still students. And uh, Thomas's whole um, perspective was that religion has to be located within the largest context possible of its time. And the, this time, we know because of scientific discovery and empirical study and evidence that we're part of a 13.8 billion year unfolding universe. And so that makes a big difference to contextualize our religious perspective within the context of an unfolding universe that is that old, that vast, and uh, that ancient. So, so we studied with Thomas Berry. Um, I myself did. I was um, the first sister among us to study with him. And, um, and so studied with him for many years. And uh, in 19, um, probably in 90, no, in about 2004, he wrote a paper entitled Women Religious, Their Future Role. And in that paper, he challenged Catholic sisters to take on their role in this vast context, which is the story of the universe, and more specifically, who we are on this planet and uh, what is our responsibility for the future of this planet. And he said, you know, uh, in former times, Catholic sisters founded orders based on the needs of the time, so the social, cultural, political needs. So as you know, sisters founded hospitals, and they were schools, and teachers, and social workers, etc. And so all through the ages, women especially, the Catholic sisters, rose to the, the cultural moment and met the needs of the time. And so all through history, those needs were human-focused. And so that's why we have schools, right? They founded schools, hospitals, etc. And Thomas said, in our time, um, it's beyond the human, uh, inclusive of the human, but uh, it has to be even more than the human. So Thomas directed women religious to think of themselves as beginning new foundations and founding ways of addressing the needs of the planet itself and all the life forms on the planet. So that was his directive to us, and as a result, we founded this place, uh, this monastery, which is dedicated to the healing and protection of Earth and its life systems. So we have a much larger view um, that is inclusive of, of all beings and the whole community of life.